Hey guys, so I was out buying some PVC pipe today to plumb my new system and ended up going by this LFS and uh, I caught three diseases, three main diseases, parasites, same tank, same bank. Starting out with Brooklynella. If you look at this fish, he's covered in it. Um, I think there was four clowns in this particular tank and every one of them had it. Uh, this one right here had it the worst, but all of them were showing symptoms. So I just wanted you guys to see this because sometimes it's hard to get a good video. If you look at this guy, he's already breathing pretty rapid. I'll just let you guys take a look at it and then we'll talk more about the other two parasites that I saw. See, this guy had it. Um, it wasn't as visible as the other clown, but he still had it on him. And so, see this one. They all had it though, so not going to be a good purchase. <laughs> So that's one of the main three. So in just a second, um, the second thing that I saw in this system, which all of them are connected on the same bank, is uranema. And this was actually on a damselfish. And it's fixing to come up here in just a second. All right, here we go. So if you look at this guy, you can see how fast he's breathing already. He's got the big sore kind of on the side and up by the top of the dorsal fin, which is pretty classic for uranema. And uh, especially with the respiratory rate already, he's breathing super fast. If you compare it to the rate of this fish, his breathing, and then you look back at this one, you can definitely see that he's struggling. So you guys know you typically see these on damselfish, I'm, I'm sorry, blue chromis and damselfish. I rarely see it, but they do get it, you know. Any fish can get it. Um, it's not very picky on who it attacks, but typically the blue chromis seem to get it the most. And it doesn't have to have a host. It can live off of detritus. So if you get it in your system, it's not good. And then this guy, he's got velvet. Again, same bank, same system. So just imagine if you were at the store buying some fish and you're a newbie hobbyist and you come home without putting these guys in a quarantine tank and without being educated enough to know and then guess what's gonna happen <laughs> in the next couple of days, you know what I mean? It'd be a nightmare, especially if you already have a lot of fish that, you know, are doing fine and didn't have anything, and then you add these into the mix. Oh, man. So that's it. <clears throat> Brooklynella, Uranema, Velvet, same tank.